This painting is called Marigold Skies. field in Santa Inez which is in Southern California and this was a few years ago and I was venturing out in the Solvang area it's Solvang is a beautiful beautiful area it's got these beautiful type of windmills there it's a lovely quaint little town and very close to Solvang is a place called Santa Inez and in Santa Inez they have fields where they grow different types of flowers. I saw red tulips growing, rows and rows and rows of beautiful red tulips. And I also saw these beautiful marigold fields. And as I saw the coloring coming forth in this painting, my mind flashed back to the beautiful scene that I found myself right in the midst within on that beautiful day. And I decided to title this piece Marigold Skies in relation to it. So here I'm just stretching the paint. This is real time footage, my friends. Tilting slowly is typically the way to go with tilting within acrylic pouring. So always remember that, uh, especially if you are somewhat new to acrylic pouring, there can be the tendency to tilt a little more quickly than what might be ideal. And part of this is simply just needing to get used to what it feels like when the paint starts flowing over the canvas. I recall in my beginning stages, it was harder for me to control the speed of it than I would have imagined it would be. It just takes a little practice and a little getting used to. And another thing that threw me off guard, in case you haven't experienced this yet, is that different size canvases with the different amounts of paint on them can feel differently as you're tilting. So 
if you're starting with something smaller and then going to something bigger that is going to be a different experience and vice versa so look at this beautiful painting look at what this looks like with the painting with the paint stretched out over the canvas so there it looks like I found a little bit of something was in the paint and I'm just fishing that out I was just using a couple skewers to get it out because I have not been able to find at any stores near me the pointy sort of tweezers. And sharing that with you even causes me to think to share with you that you may not have every tool available that you could ideally have at a moment's notice of when you may need it. So thinking to yourself what do I have that could work instead is a way to help keep your mind open and thinking of possibilities. I'm going to let you just enjoy watching the rest of this and listening to the soothing music and remember that just up ahead are the close-up shots and you'll be able to see all the beautiful details closer up as well as the displayed results. 